Thank you for the very warm welcome. Um, although it's raining this morning, I know it's, it can be a bit of a logistical nightmare, but you know, in the year of forest uh, this year, that's also uh, observing the theme forest and water, it's very apt. Um, and long may the rain and the forestry link continue. Um, my first time in Vanuatu was last year, um, in the day immediately following TC Pan. I was part of the immediate response team that New Zealand sent over to help with the, re with the recovery and the relief effort. And as I landed in the airport, the first thing I noticed was the devastation towards the natural resources. Uh, what had been a green and lush country was brown, and what had been upright and strong was horizontal and on the ground. You could see easily the devastation that such a natural disaster could have. 280 uh, kilometer, kilometers per hour winds is not something to be laughed at. However, the flora and fauna marks the strength of the people of Vanuatu too. I come back to begin my time here as the Deputy High Commissioner, one year or just after one year on from TC Pam, and you can notice a difference. They're flying in, flying overhead, the country is green again. What was on the ground and bent is not broken, it's standing up again. So that is testament to the strength of the people of Vanuatu, that's testament to the blessings that you've received from, from God in terms of your natural resources, and it's also a testament to the work that everyone here, whether it's the ministry, whether it's the private sector, donor partners, uh, all stakeholders in these key sectors are doing. So thank you very much, and I commend your work. Um, it's a hard act to follow. Um, the, the pastor, the good pastor and the director general, I notice they speak with such passion. But I mirror that passion and, and I mirror your, your reflections on the importance of these primary sectors. So why are forests important? Like it says on the banner here, Amy life. You know? Forests give you life. Water gives you life. Okay? I'll leave it to the technical experts. I'm not much of a scientist myself. I'm more a public servant. But as, as the director of forestry said, it provides the air that we breathe. You know? It attracts rain. One full-grown a tree can provide the oxygen in one season that 10 people breathe in a year. So as I'm running around Vanuatu in the heat, I'm glad <laughs> that the oxygen here is clean. I'm all for development and urban development, and you can see that the huge uh, urban sprawl and, and the benefits it has, but what is that without the green that we have here? I think uh, the local people here and those that visit Realise how blessed they are with what you've been given. I see the, uh, the troubles and the issues that the drought has caused with El Nino and El Nina with your, uh, in this region. And particularly with uh, the Papua New Guinea um, highlands bearing the brunt of such, such effects. It just shows that the importance of how we must safeguard these natural resources. Because as we say, water is life and I know that as a region, we're all there to support the natural resource uh, safeguarding. And also climate change is another theme that we're very supportive of um, with our regional partners around the world. And last year, during the, uh, the meeting in Paris, we reaffirmed our commitment to making sustainable climate change uh, goals and to ensure that we work together with our friends, brothers and sisters in the region to, to reach those goals. A recent survey by the New Zealand Tourism Research Institute asked visitors to Vanuatu what they liked most about this place. Number one, may not surprise you, was the friendly and welcoming people. And the smiling faces. Vanuatu is always not high on the happiness index of the world. Long may that continue. But after that, after that, they talked about the beauty of the environment, the natural resources, going out, the activities that leverage off that, seeing green around. You know, we're blessed. There are some cities around the world where you have to travel for one hour on transport just to see green. Um, Vanuatu is not like that, so long may that continue. I urge, uh, I congratulate the good work that everyone has done here, the key sectors. I can see all the displays there, you can see, and you can see the green around. Please continue that, and New Zealand supports that as a partner and I'm sure the donor partners here present support that too.
We do have a history in supporting um, both the forestry and water sectors. And currently our WASH program is providing fresh water to the communities as part of our uh, TC PAM recovery package. We've also, also planted pine, pine plantations in the nature, funding nurseries to be planted and the continuation of the community forestry program. We're also looking for future opportunities to support agriculture and livestock se sectors, a value chain from the primary production and supply. One thing to note in that tourism survey also is the fresh produce of the country is something that the tourists look forward to trying when they come. So again, the support to the livestock and agriculture sectors is key. You know, I, I reflect and also uh, applaud the, the words of the DG and it's good to see youth here. The youth here are the people that meet, must be educated. They are the stakeholders, they are the, the safeguards and the future of this country and they're the ones that will, that will continue the good work that's done, being done here. So thank you for coming. And thank you, thank you Tumas, for giving me the opportunity to speak today. And, um, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you.